Hey everybody, we're going to be looking at an addendum for the honor students um, for 3.5 today. Uh, I did want to get, go back and talk to you a little bit about how to solve these things if you're looking for an exact answer. Uh, this is another good SAT, ACT kind of strategy, um, and really it's part of the honors curriculum. So I wanted to make sure that I was, was honoring that and making sure we were going through that together. So we did this problem in the previous um, video. We got to this point, and this is the point where I said, okay, well, now we can do an approximate answer. Well, really, I can get an exact answer here. And one question I get a lot from students is, well, when do I know if I want an approximate answer, and when do I know if I want an exact answer? Look at your signs. If it says x equals, equals implies that it is equal and it is exactly that thing. If it says x with the wavy equals or the approximate, that's where we can say on this one if it was 2.87 and negative 0 0.87. Because remember, it doesn't terminate at the sevens, it keeps going and going and forever. And even with all the decimal places in Desmos, that's still not technically an exact answer. So I want to be careful with that and make sure that I am giving it an exact answer. So that being said, let's look at how we would do that. So what I want to do here is I want to simplify this down as much as possible. I see a 4 and I see a 4 here. Okay, well that's great. I can take at least a you know a 1, 2, or a 4 out of this. Okay, but because of the square root of 56, I need to make sure that I can pull something out of there as well before I start simplifying. So what I want to do is I want to break 56 down to its smallest factors. So here I want to do a factor tree, not t, tree. I can take a 2 out of that, and that's going to be 28, 2, 14, 2, and 7. Okay, so this can be rewritten as 4 plus or minus the square root of 2 times 2 times 2 times 7 over 4. Okay, now you may have heard this a bunch of different ways. You know, uh, couples can go out of the house, singles need to stay home, things like that. Okay, um, but the idea is we want to take 2 and we can pull it out. So this is the same thing as 4 plus or minus 2. Okay, and the 2 and the 7 are still inside over 4. At this step, I can take a 2 out of all parts. Okay, not as good as a 4, but it'll do for what we need to do. So I can take a 2 out of the top, and when I do that, I'm going to be left with 2 plus or minus the square root of 14 over 4, and then this simplifies down to just a 2 on the bottom. So my best answer here, okay, ooh, sorry about that, my best answer here is 2 plus or minus the square root of 14 over 2. Okay, and again, the 2 and the 2 there would be really nice if we could simplify those down, um, but unfortunately we can't. The very, the, the only other thing you might see, and this is pretty rare because usually we don't break it up this way, uh, but the only other thing you might see is people might break it up where it's like 2 over 2 plus or minus square root of 14 over 2, and then technically you could at that point say 1. Um, but this, I, I honestly like probably had maybe one professor in college who really wanted you to do it this way. This is the most common. This is what you would see on SAT, ACT. Um, so again, stopping here is usually good. Now, if your answers, though, look like they're in this form, keep going. Otherwise, your answers most likely are going to be in this form. Okay. Uh, the other thing we need to look at is complex numbers. So these were irrationals. They were still real numbers, though. Um, there's no imaginary number here. The other thing we want to look at, though, is says complex. So on this one, I did a minus instead of a plus. I'm going to go ahead and do the plus now. And I'm not going to do the shortcut. I'm going to do it the long way with um, quadratic form now. So b here is going to be 0 because we have a 0x, and using it as a placeholder. Um, so b squared minus 4ac, so 0 squared minus 4, um, 4, and 9. Um, from this, that 0 squared is not really going to do anything, 
we can head over to Desmos here. Let it do the work. So negative four. And if you really want to put the zero, you can. It's not going to change anything though. Um, four. So I get negative 144. Okay, and this already kind of screams, uh, and that's not good because we're going to put it under a radical. Radicals and negatives don't really like to play together. But let's go ahead and do it. So negative b plus or minus the square root of the discriminant, what I just found, over 2a. So negative 0, okay, well that's nice at least, plus or minus the square root of negative 144 over 2 times 4. At this point, I can look at this, okay, and I can break this up. Let's go ahead and get rid of this 0 because it's not going to change anything. If I add 0 to something or subtract 0 from something, it's not going to change it. And let's just rewrite this a little bit, cleaning it up. So plus or minus the square root of negative 144 over 8. I can rewrite radicals like this. Negative 1 times, uh, actually, let me not skip a step there, times 144, still over 8. When you are multiplying inside a radical, you can split the radical. Not when you're adding, not when you're subtracting. Only when you're multiplying or dividing, you can split a radical. So I can rewrite this as square root of negative 1 times the square root of 144 over 8. The square root of 1 is the imaginary number. The square root of 144 is 12 over 8. Okay, let's put it in the right order. So 12i over 8. And then this simplifies down um, by 4. So it's going to be 2 and 3. So 3i over 2 plus 4 minus. Sorry, I shouldn't have Plus that through. Okay. So then this is how I would solve for those i's. Let's look at one more where we do have a b, where we get a complex solution. And this is going to kind of bring everything together. So again, b squared minus 4ac, negative 6 squared, oops, sorry. Minus 4, 1, 10. So 36 minus, and then this is going to be 40. So negative 4. So again, this is screaming to us, ah, we got a problem. So negative, negative 6 plus or minus the square root of negative 4 over 2 times 1. Cleaning this up a little bit. Get 6 plus or minus. Okay, the square root of 4, remember we can break up and say negative 1 times 4. This is going to be i, this is going to be 2 plus or minus. Okay, this plus or minus is here. And then let's put it in the right order 2i over 2. Okay, and this is, this is the answer, but I can simplify it down. Notice I can take a 2 out of everything here. So let's take a 2 out of the top. We're left with 3 plus or minus i over 2. The 2's cancel, so I'm left with 3 plus or minus i. Okay, the only way this can get more complicated is if instead, like on this one, we had a negative inside, okay, we would still have the radical, and that's fine. This would just end up being like an i right here. Okay, so you are going to need to know how to do the imaginaries for both your work today and your test. Um, so just be, be cautious of that and be wary of that um, and make sure that you are ready for that. We call these solutions complex solutions because they're complex numbers because of that imaginary. Um, keep in mind too that this is the same thing as 3 plus i, 3 minus i. Okay. I know this is a little bit more challenging of a way to look at this, so if you're getting stuck, please feel free to reach out to me. Feel free to come to those RTI times. Don't forget we are testing next week on this.